going to do this properly, and I'm going to start doing this, and doing this correctly. So yeah, hey everyone, as I was about to say, long time no see. I haven't actually done this, like a proper camera person to person thing, about two years now. I did this for the first time and last time when I was moving out my first year accommodation and I was looking back on that today I was like I really want to try this again and mostly because I got a new phone as well I wish I could show you I don't know if you can see yourself there oh my god this is weird yes I apologize I haven't really done much YouTube this past year I think I posted a total of four videos since third year and um, that's not really good and it's I only have myself to blame my reason is that I just haven't had enough time with university third year has hit me hard and it hasn't helped that the whole pandemic luckily it looks like we're coming out of it now fingers crossed but that has affected me working from home and a lot of people as well this past year I want to give it another go right today God, this angle is not flattering. It's very boring, isn't it? So I'll try and keep this short. What I want to start doing is these studio vlogs as YouTube is changing. I've noticed this as a viewer, as also a content creator on the platform, but it is changing and gone are the ways of speed paints. Not necessarily fully gone, but studio vlogs seem to be where it's at. They're the ones that are more prominent. That's the people things that people tend to watch. So I did want to experiment with this in first year, it didn't go well for me, don't know why. I think it's because I was so nervous to do it and I really didn't think I was good enough for it. But now that I've just finished, I have finished my third year now. As I said, with this I want to do more of a studio vlog style where it's a bit, sh it's a bit of this. It might not be as much as sit down and chat but it's more showing bits and bobs while I'm working on illustrations. So right now I actually do want to do a little bit of a speed paint of a current illustration I'm working on. Can't see much of it right now because my light is horribly like here. Actually, if I put it there, it's probably better. So yeah, this is just a current little illustration that I'm working on right now. It's a draw this in your style. That's something I want to work on it and show parts of it. As well as my shop, I really want to focus on that now that university is done. Along with some of my professional work, um, it just, I, I miss it. I miss you guys. I miss making videos. I make creating content. I miss editing it. That's all that I'm going to say now. That's a bit of a ramble. But, hi, <laughs> I'm back. Hopefully, at least for a bit of time. A bit, a bit of time. It's me, basically. So first off, they sent me um, this pack of four brush pens that I already tried out. Um, and I'll get to that. Hey everyone, so sorry that different change of location, I'm currently in my bathroom right now because it's the only place that has decently good lighting. I just want to show you this. So this is the camera, as you can see, it's got the three notches, like the three things, that's what I really like about it. But this, this little thing here, yeah, oh my god, is so good, it is the S Pen. It can do a lot of things. So I didn't buy this phone just so I could draw on the go, but I can draw on the go. There's no downsides to that. But it's also good because you can use this little button here and um, focus. Call you focus. I guess not. But you can use the little button on here to do the clicker, automate the thing. If anyone knows an application where I can see the Samsung viewfinder on another device, so I could have this like set up, I don't have to keep on looking at it because I can then just literally click, press, go, yep, stop using this. This would be very helpful. So if I could have like an app on my iPad or something where I can see what my camera sees. So let me know if there's anything like that. But yeah, I just want to show off like, oh, 
I do want to get a professional camera in the future because I do like photography, I like videography, I like all of this. But for now, I can't justify it when I have a, this beast of a phone camera. So this is the regular lens, I think this is the middle one. Well actually, it's that one, yes. <laughs> now I can also switch to the ultra wide lens. So as you can see, it's a little bit strange, like everything goes like wrapping around corners and stuff. But this is what you just saw then on that clip, um, like a wide out shot, which is really convenient for if I want to show a bigger space, but I don't have a room. So that's really cool. And then I have this other one. <laughs> and this is the ultra's lens, whatever it zooms in. So you can, I can zoom in out like that, and I can really zoom in quite far on the camera. Look at that, it's not losing quality. And it's quite really zoomed in, so yeah. Just gonna zoom back out to regular. I just love this so much. So if you're in the market for a phone and you're an artist and you want to draw on the go, this has so much stuff. It has so much RAM in it as well. It's a beast of a phone. I'm pretty sure it has Samsung DeX on it. I've not used it before, but if you're into that and you want to have a computer on the go, then this is something I recommend. Yes, I'm just going to stop this now and that's just my, my little PSA to say this is a good phone. Okay, um, is, does this look better? I've got my tripod set up because I didn't before in the last clip, I just had it on my little desk thing. Also, sorry, um, there you go. Hopefully this lighting looks better as well, it's not coming from underneath. I'm trying to really get my shit together with YouTube. I really want to do some of this. I haven't <laughs> done much tonight. I've just spent the past two hours playing online with friends from uni, which has been really fun. It's something that we now do a Friday evening, just playing games and stuff. So we've been playing Smash Brothers all evening. And it's just so fun to do. Right now, I'm just going to carry on work on my iPad for another, what time is it? For another half an hour. And then I think I'm going to call it a night tonight. So sorry, there hasn't been much to do well I say it haven't been much I think I've already got quite a lot of clips but my plan is with as I said with this studio vlog is to just show you bits and pieces as I work also you can see my teddies in the background but yeah just show like work in progresses and just take you along with a ride some illustrations I don't want to do a full video on especially stuff like draw this in your styles where it's not my own original work so it doesn't feel right, whereas if I'm doing my own thing, such as when I redesign my character Lucy, I want to do that as its own full video. I may start playing that tomorrow, actually, tomorrow morning. So you have that to look forward to. I might show snippets here, but that will be its own full video thing. Whereas this studio vlog, who knows, weekly, bi-weekly, monthly, the ones that I've watched on YouTube, the bigger ones seem to do it daily and weekly. I don't think I could do that. I'm just not that interesting. Whereas the ones that like a month long ones or like every three weeks or something like that, just whenever they have stuff going on, that seems to be more appropriate and something I could do. I think that's all though. So I'm going to carry on working for a bit and I will see you tomorrow. Bye guys. <laughs> Morning everyone, it is Saturday today. As you can see, I'm wearing my glasses this morning. Got a bit of a headache when I woke up, so these often help. I am currently doing a lot of admin work right now, as you might have just saw. When you run your own business and you are freelance, I love making the art, I love being creative on that side, but there's a lot of behind the scenes stuff I have to do. And right now, the stuff I need to do is actually promoting my shop, which is a good little plugin. So I'll leave the link down below. But I do run a little sticker shop on Etsy. I currently have Zelda and Animal Crossing sticker packs along with a like a general crystal sticker pack, so they can be used for anything. I'm going to be designing new stuff in my shop this month because now that uni is done, I have more free time. Idea that I do have is maybe make prints of Lucy when she's fully fleshed out and sell that. So not just a giveaway, but actually sell prints of her. That's something that's in the works. But besides that, I've got a bit more admin stuff to do this morning. And then I've actually got some art things, which is really nice. I like to split my day. I like to do 
the boring stuff in the morning, get that out of the way, while it's also dark and gloomy outside. Thank God of the light. I don't know what you can see actually, I'm going to take off my glasses. These are not actually real glasses, they're blue filter glasses, so that really helps when working on devices all day every day. The gloomy day right now, so I wasn't feeling that inspired this morning yet. Like, I will once I start sketching, but this is a good time to just get all the boring stuff out of the way. I'm just looking at my little to-do list on Notion. That's a thing. If you want to see how I organize my life with Notion as a creative, I will happily do a video one day. But I'm just looking, so I need to do more vlog. That's what this is. Uh, I said sketching out ideas. Carry on with the draw this new style. I want to get a lot of that rendered today in preparation for next week. And yeah, just more sketching. So I'll show you guys, I'll switch the camera around at some point so you can see my sketchbook and my desk while I'm doing the sketching stuff. But for now, I'm just carrying on with admin work. Half 11. So yeah, for the past hour I've been doing admin. I kind of got sidetracked a little because I was doing my expenses and stuff and working out for future. Crap, I'm not a student anymore. I don't get Adobe for free. I don't get my animation software for free. So what am I going to do about that? And my God, Adobe is so expensive. It's £80 a month for the non-annual plan. And there's been whole controversy about that recently where people have bought the monthly annual plan. And the thing is that you had to commit to it for a year. So you pay £40 a month for 12 months. I have to do that. Whereas the £80 a month, it's by a month's basis. So if you want to get out of it, you can, which is really snotty of them. It's really bad for Adobe and they got a lot of bad press for it. So to my surprise, I was shocked to learn that it's £80 for the non month by month thing we have to be locked into like a contract. That's expensive, especially for a recent graduate when £80 a month, that might not sound like a lot, but for software, if I pay that yearly, £80 a month times 12, for one year, so one year the Adobe software, £960. That is a lot of money. So I've spent this morning looking at alternative software. I've been thinking about this for a while because I use four software packages altogether. I use the Adobe Suite extensively. I use all the softwares besides like the web design. I use um, Toboom Harmony, which is an animation software, 2D animation. Maya, a 3D modeling animating software is ridiculously expensive. I don't even know the price that I put here, but that is expensive. That's a one-time buy, really much so. And then finally, I've been looking at another software. What is it now? Um, TV Paint, which is another animating software. Look, we got given it for free for uni, but now I've actually bought my own version. That's the cheapest of all of it. About hundred and something pounds student discount. So that was really good. I got that. But Adobe, this, it's the big baby. Um, as I use Adobe a lot, I used to be such a fanboy of it in college and like first year university. I used it religiously for everything. I used Photoshop for all my drawings. I used Premiere Pro for all my video editing. I did After Effects on my animations. Illustrator for obviously graphic design and um, vector based work. InDesign for graphic design, magazine layouts, um, portfolios, stuff like that. So I use it very heavily. I have slowly transitioned into other software. So for painting, I don't use Photoshop for painting. I still use Photoshop for photo manipulation, but for painting, I use Procreate and Clip Studio Paint, which has been very well for me. So I'm fine with that. Other software include Premiere Pro, which I, when I was doing this more often, I used it on the weekly daily basis. For class, I used it daily. But now that university is over, I won't get, and I thought I wouldn't need it as much, but obviously for YouTube, I still need Premiere Pro, so that's annoying. After Effects is my animation software of choice for motion graphics, and there is no dupe for that. There is no clone of it. There's nothing that comes close to it. Illustrator InDesign, I I don't do graphic design as much. It's, it's nice to have the access to it, but I've found alternative versions to it. So these alternatives that I'm talking about are the Affinity Suite. Affinity Designer, Affinity Painter, and Affinity Publisher. I think those are the free software. And as the name stands, there's a dupe for Photoshop, a dupe for Illustrator, a dupe for InDesign. I've just spent the morning purchasing them. Altogether, those free software came to about £80 for lifetime. Lifetime, those free software, one-time buy, whereas Adobe is £80 a month. 
for the software. And as for video editing software, I'm going to try DaVinci Resolve, which is one that Jazza has bragged about before. Other artists, other creators on YouTube have seen how to use it. It's a free alternative software. It's actually used for cinematography and Hollywood blockbuster movie style thing, but they have got a free version, which they've developed, and it, it works well for basic video editing like this. Okay, hello, yes, Editing Joseph here. Hey. Um, I just want to show you that I'm currently editing this on DaVinci Resolve right now and I will I love it. I love it a lot. And I'll talk about it more in the next June vlog about what I've learned about and stuff. But yes, just to clarify, I do really like this software so far. My dilemma is now is that I've just purchased this software and £80 is not that much to me for one time buy. I'm going to try and use it and see if I can mix it into my workflow. And um, would you guys like to see a video where I've solely switched over to non-Adobe apps for a week? Because <laughs> I rely on Adobe so much, it's ridiculous. I may do that to find out how well I can really work with this new product, uh, the, these new products. Because what I really like about Adobe software is that it's expensive, yes, but they are really good at what they do and they work so well with each other. So so I'm kind of used to that workflow now. Um, as I said, I have also branched out with new software on my iPad as well, such as LumaFusion that is also alternative video editing software. Ideally, I do need a video editor on my Mac for this, but also for my day job for doing animations so I can compose things together. Please leave down in comments below, what software do you use? Do you pay the ridiculous price for Adobe? Do you have alternatives that you recommend? It's just, it's hard as well because for if I was not making money of any of this, I would not hesitate not to buy Adobe. But the fact that I use this professionally as well, then it hinders my thinking just like, hmm, maybe I should just bite the bullet and pay for the 80 pound month. That's my little rant over. Please let me know in the comments if you use the software. Do you use alternative? Do you use Affinity? Do you just use like Procreate? because uh, I know a lot of digital illustrators nowadays just use Procreate solely and maybe one of the software. So yes, please let me know in comments down below as well if you want to see a video where I switch my Adobe software to my alternative software for a week or vice versa. Do you want to see me, how, do you want me to show how I use my Adobe software in one week and then compare it to non-Adobe software in a week? So Photoshop to Procreate and Clip Studio Paint, Illustrator to Adobe, uh, to Affinity Designer and Vector Nisa on iPad, etc. Please let me know down in comments below because it's an interesting idea and it's something I want to explore. Hi everyone, um, happy Sunday. So I'm talking a little bit quieter today as my boyfriend is in. But as you might have saw in the previous clip, I was just streaming for over an hour. And um, if you don't follow me already, I'll leave the, the link to the Twitch channel that me and my friend do together. We just do game streams at least twice a week. Um, it might go down to once a week because of exams on his side, but it's going great. Mm -hmm. 